channel, my name is Clay Wong. Guys, I'm super excited because we are showcasing a car that I've been dying to experience ever since I was a little kid. I watched it on the Initial D in Fast and Furious. And guys, this is it. This is a Honda Civic EG6 SIR. It's a very special car. And for those who don't actually know, this was the Type R before the Type R was even a thing. It's a very rare car here in Australia and it has been completely done up. It's an extremely clean example. It's probably one of the best out here in the Southern Hemisphere and I can't wait to showcase it, guys. I'm here with the owner and the man himself, Mango. How you going, bro? Hello, it's Mango here from Hot Dog Hustle. Dude, this thing is crazy. Can you tell us a little bit about your pride and joy, man? So the AG was originally a charge speed promo car and since I've got it, I've only retained the charge speed fenders and the charge speed side skirts. But as you can see, it's not an OEM Honda color. It's actually an OEM GDR R32 diamond black. Really? I didn't even know that. It's a little bit more special than a Nighthawk black, it hey? It, it, it pops more in the sun, I think. This thing looks wild. And you can see just from afar, it looks like a standard Civic, but when you dive in, you see the details. There's just so much more about it. Obviously, you know, you've got the headlight duck there. What else have you done to it, man? So I've also got a spoon spoiler at the back there. I've got a top one diffuser. I've also got the carbon APR mirrors. I've got the carbon fiber lip from Tactical Art. I am running the TE37s and they are the OGs. Man, that um, looks so good, bro. It's a five stud now from a DC2R. Yeah. Um, endless, big break kit. Just your attention to detail with the overall build. This looks insane, man. So what drew you to the Honda Civic? Was it kind of the shape or the way it drove? It's just it looks like an egg. No, but... Um, do you like your eggs? <laughs> I do like my eggs, a lot more eggs. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. But no, I've always grown up with Hondas. Yeah. I've had the DC2R, I've had the EK4. Okay. But it's just something about the EG that I've always come back to. So yeah. this is my fifth EG. Your fifth? My fifth EG, but this is my only JDM EG6 SIR EG. Awesome, man. Yeah, the EG6 just has a little bit more special features that was left specifically for the JDM motherland and it just looks so cool. If you have a look, there's like some cool little tweed touches and the rear compartments in the back, just super neat and tidy. And obviously such a clean interior as well. But guys, it's not just about the aesthetics on this EG because it's what's under the hood that makes it really special. So Manga, do you mind popping the bonnet for us? Dude, that is so cool. Guys, check out that engine bay. Man, have a look at that. That is so Mickey. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've done over here, man? So we still retained the B series, but it is not a B16. It's actually a B18 from a JDM Integra. A Type R? A Type R motor, that's correct. Wow. Um, and the whole internals have been changed. So the motor was built by Ivan from Fortune. Okay. Um, so cams, pistons, valves, Everything has been changed top to bottom. You name it, the works, hey. Everything, everything. Um, just passing, including from Toda, we got CPs, and we got Fiera. Wow, how much power are you pushing with everything done to this motor right so now? So on Ivan's dyno, it's actually pushing about 152 kilowatts. 152 front wheel kilowatts. That's correct. That's nuts. That's more than most K-Swap Honda Civics, so. So yeah, it does keep up with the K-Series boys. Yeah, I can imagine. How does it feel with all that power in the chassis? Uh, it's like a go-kart, but on steroids. Wow, that is nuts. Does it rev out to 9,000? So or? it revs out to about 10,000 at the moment. 10,000. That's correct. I'm sure everybody's wanting to know what these headers are. So the headers, the headers are DTR uh, from the States. So Danny, if you were around in the early 2000s in the car scene, you would have heard about SSR, so Six Sigma Racing. Not, not the wheels, right? Not, no, not the wheels, no. Okay. But he did, a, um, he did a street sweeper style Headers? Yeah. Dude, they look so good. And you've got this titanium intake pipe over here as well. Big throttle body. We've also del uh, deleted the aircon, as you can see. We've moved the radiator, we've hidden it. And the power steering has now been moved on the, the side here. Yeah, you actually can't see that radiator. I didn't even notice. Obviously, we've got the power steering pump there. I think just like yours? Yeah, just, just the like same yours. one, man. It's a really cool touch. The suspension, we're running Cusco Zero Rs, and the whole suspension has been replaced with hard race and that's all been done by Sang at Tire Choice. Sweet. And we're at Tire Choice right now. And guys, look at the stance and the fitment. It's still street driven, which is I think the best part about this car. Do you have any more future plans for it? Cause I think this is pretty much done. So in the future, I'd like to delete the brake lines or move them. Okay. And I would also like to paint the bay. I think it would just finish it 
that little bit further, but... Do you plan to track this thing as well? Um, I plan to maybe take it to Honda Nats, uh, 2023. Yeah. But I think that's about it. And prices on the EG6 has gone up insanely. What's the kind of like price range for one of these? Oh, so I reckon we're looking at about 25, 30. Yeah. But that's just for the car, that's just, That is just for the yeah. car. That's just for the car. And I think I am the only one in Melbourne who still drives their EG6. Honestly, can't wait to drive this thing. It's super clean. And I just can't get over that fact. So huge shout out to Mangu again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, man. We're going to have a blast. Be sure to check him out on Instagram. EG6 underscore. Shui. Shui, yeah. Shui. Shui, yeah. That's it. And guys, let's get straight into this video. It's going to be awesome. Guys, I'm super excited to drive this Honda Civic EG6. This car has been an icon to me growing up as a little kid. And having the opportunity to drive something so tastefully done up, this thing is going to be an absolute blast of a car. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Honda Civic EG. And just Civics in general, I've got a K-swapped version of essentially the same car. So it's going to be super cool to see how these two stack up against each other. In the cabin, I'm sitting in a set of Picaro SR3 seats from an Integra DC2 Type R. They feel really comfortable and straight away, clutch is nice and light, almost OEM in terms of feel. Just taking off, the car feels so effortless. It's got an oversized throttle body and as a result, it just revs and idles a little bit higher than standard. But immediately this car feels so factory still, even with everything that's done on this car. And Mind you, this is a very tasteful example. If you tuned in to the start of the video, the owner Manga went into complete depth in explaining this car and everything that's been done to it. It is honestly a very tasteful build and he has gone to extreme lengths to perfect it. And honestly, right off the bat, even before driving it, I think it's one of the finest EGs out here. And honestly, driving it, this thing is gonna be sick. B18C Integra DC2 Type R and it has been fully built and forged with a host of brand name parts like Toda, Ferrera, CP It's making a grand total of 152 front wheel kilowatts of power just over 200 front wheel horsepower that is an insane amount for a B-series naturally aspirated engine and it's honestly just about the same amount of power that my K-Swap EG has which just blows my mind a little bit because you still retain the essence of a B-series engine and immediately you hear that soundtrack of just what is so recognizable about the 90s. I think this car can do the talking for itself, but let's see how it goes. 4,000 RPM, second gear. the DC2 Type R. Overall, just cruising around, before we hit the corners, the car feels very compliant over the road, a little bit twitchy at the front end, but obviously it's set up for track. There are definitely a few things to note though. This car has a brake booster delete, and as a result, you do have to step on the brakes a little bit further, and much harder than as you would typically expect. In addition to that, there is no air con, there is no heater, so one of those hot summer days like today, it's a little bit rough, but in terms of how the car drives, so smooth, so catered around the idea of driving it. Let's see how it is, guys. Really gotta jump on the brakes.
realize why I really believe the EG is one of the best chassis for the Honda Civic. That's not to take any credit away from the EK, but just how easy you can make it such a good street track show car. I think it's just an awesome platform and it's no wonder why prices on these cars have just gone crazy. However, for this example, being an EG6 SIR, it's obviously a whole lot more special than your run-of-the-mill EG Civic. From factory, they came with a B16A engine and you had a host of different interior trims. It's all black in here. You've got special JDM compartments all around, a different tween material, and it's just really cool of a cabin and obviously you've got the JDM points and the blue badge up the front. These cars demand at the very minimum 25 grand here in Australia and then to do it up as Mango has done in this meticulous EG6 build. It's just really pushed the boundaries even further of what can be achieved. Listen to it guys. Please be 